He does have a fantastic gut feel for a deal because once he gets his teeth into a deal, he never lets it go. David outside work, there isn't a David outside work because David's work is his hobby. I don't know anyone more passionate about property than David. He loves property dearly. He left school at 15 with no qualifications, no direction. Father was a milliner and his mother was a mother and housewife. There was nobody in the family who were in the property business. He had a friend named Norman and his father was instrumental in them buying a, an office and slowly but surely started to learn the business but he had a real aptitude for it. Came effectively from nothing to, to where he is now running a property company which is somewhere 1.5, 1.6 billion pounds, which is no mean achievement, having come through the, the troubles in 2008 to 2012. It was in 1980, and David bought what's known best as the Columbia Road flower market, with 320 shops and residential units. And this was the beginning to put him in a, a new sphere. I think he paid 3,250 per property, and just to give you an idea, I think the houses are now selling for something close to one and a quarter million. From those small beginnings, you know, David has become one of the largest landowners in the country and has achieved huge greatness. David is one of those people who you don't often see anymore. You know, he's, he's la completely larger than life. He's a character. He's a real, very, very solid family man. That's it. That's what he is. That's what he was raised to be. You know, his mum and his dad were very old, solid, working class people. And they, you know, they made him, they grounded him. Family is everything to David. We're his backbone, his children, his grandchildren, and his beloved Tinkerbell, which is our little pug. He doesn't try to impress anybody. He is flamboyant. He's in a world of his own. He doesn't conform and people warm to him because he is so natural and so easy. He walks into a room, he owns a room. He's so endearing that he's got this charm, he's got this way about him that everyone just adores him. You go out with David and you just never really know what he's gonna rock up in, in terms of outfit. I mean, some of it, you know, he would not pass muster anywhere you know you just you get on with it because you know he's he's not going to change he leads from the front he's the first in the office i don't get here till just before eight o'clock he's in before me he's he's here still he's one of the last to leave every single day i don't think that will ever change he just wants to be surrounded by people that uh, are, are good to work for and good to work with and i think that's one of the things that has made him so successful and we've always had it embedded into us that um, uh, if people like doing business with you then they will do business with you. I've worked with my dad a long time I don't we've never had a crossword and I think that's the case with everybody that he works with. He's very honourable people say that his word is his bond if he says it will happen and um, people seem to like that. He's always got time for everybody and genuinely he enjoys everything that he does at the office. I feel that being at the office and his work is like his drug and he just can't get enough. On our first date, he disappeared. I sat very nervously on my own thinking, where the hell has he gone? He came back 40 minutes later, totally unperturbed, to tell me he'd been looking over the establishment that we were dining in and that it was very, very nice and he'd forgotten to bring money with him and could I pay the bill? And that was the beginning of our romance bonkers but I think we both are that's how we've lasted. So this eccentric person does more for charity is more generous than anyone that I know truly his mind is on success the success of his business the success of whatever charity he's going for and to be linked with David really is an honour. David supports hundreds of charities. He loves to help young people. I think his background is a great factor for him being generous, giving time and money to help young people achieve their dreams. Well, David isn't just David Pearl. I mean, to us, to me, he's David Diamond. He really gets involved. 
so young people aren't intimidated by him and his greatness and his success because he doesn't carry that with him. He's completely just an average bloke. Of course, we know he's not, but for young people, that's brilliant to see and hear his success stories, his struggles, his hard-working ethics, but of course, the fact that he ultimately just cares. And he says to me, do you know something? I love what you do. I love it. And we go, yeah, we love you too. So it's a real genuine romance of the heart uh, above all else. He is the most generous and warm-hearted supporter and always turns up for all of the occasions that we invite him to with a smile on his face. David is definitely very motivated by the cause. You can see when we uh, introduce him to the young people who've benefited from his donations, he wants to know all about them and he really wants to help them. He'll always ask them questions about what they're doing next in their life and how he could give them advice and tips and encourage their aspirations. Thank you for being such a great friend, David, personally and to the charity and to all the young people, thousands of pe young people in London that you've helped. There is no one that deserves an award like this more than you. Um, there are many people out there that look up to him. He's everything I hope, a property entrepreneur stroke investor, and I hope we find many more of them, people like David, in years to come. A huge congratulations on winning this award. You totally deserve it. I'm hoping that some of your grandchildren inherit your business brain, your hardworking and dedication, just a touch of your eccentricities that you are well known for. Well done, we're so proud of you. It's an incredible achievement and we are all inspired by you in one way or another every day. I'm so proud of you, you really do deserve this. He's up there amongst all of them. And uh, you know, when I eventually retire, and others eventually retire, they will have so many, we'll all have so many David Pearl stories to tell. There was certainly, as far as I'm concerned, nobody more deserving than David Pearl. Gem, gem by name and gem by nature. I'm just so very, very proud of you. Throughout all the years and your success, you've never lost your humility. You still empty the dustbins and I love you.